Hello everyone, I'm Kang Yun, and welcome back to Demon Souls. Merry Christmas Eve, everybody. If you're watching this, on um, it's probably after the fact. Uh, it's almost, it'll be uh, Christmas uh, proper soon. Uh, I'm recording this on the night of Christmas Eve. I had a nice uh, celebration day with my family. Got a nice pair of warm socks. Anyways, uh, this is just going to be, I think, a short update video. In the last episode, I... Uh, well, the last the last uh, update uh, videos were probably some co-op sessions where I was getting um, the Valley of Defilement to pure black, which it now is. And I did go through and kill all the crystal lizards. I was pretty successful. I think I only missed one spawn on the 5-1 f uh, lizard. Um, I did upgrade my endurance to 30. I up leveled up five times, so I'm now level 85. Um, with all the faint stone I got, I was able to get my iron knuckles to plus five, my blessed iron knuckles. And I also was able to get um, a great axe to blessed plus four. And we're not too far off from having enough chunks and well, actually, I, I you need two pures to get the Great Axe to plus five. And I was just running to the uh, Filthy Woman in 5-2, and I killed a Shaman Depraved one on the way, and it just happened to drop a pure Faint Stone. But the reason why I went to the Filthy Woman was I wanted to buy another War Pick, because I have one that's plus ten, just a standard plus ten War Pick. But I wanted to make um, some status ailment weapons so I made a mercury war pick plus four I need a few more chunks and I think some shot no I think I should have enough charges I just need a few more chunks to get this to plus five and then I also made a tearing war scythe plus five uh, for bleed I don't know I just wanted to have a um, more versatile array of weapons and be able to inflict status ailments not necessarily these obviously are not going to be damage um big damage weapons they're they when you make a weapon when you make a weapon uh tearing you see the scaling goes to s it's all goes to dex basically and it adds a lot of bleed and, and the war pick the base war pick not war pick war scythe has 180 bleed and D scaling index. It is a more. It's a D. It's a uh, dex based polearm, whereas the uh, halberd and mirden hammer are more strength based. Um, and it does slashing damage, which I don't have a lot of weapons that deal slashing damage. In fact, I don't think any weapon I use deals slashing. The yeah, this just deals regular damage this does piercing this is blunt and this is blunt the axe is regular so i wanted a slashing weapon and a bleed weapon i also uh, like i said made the mercury war pick the next blessed weapon i'm probably going to make after the axe is going to be the um, morning star and i would also like to do a short sword and another iron knuckle. So yeah, that was more or less what I did. I do have three colorless demon souls, so I could get another uh, hand of God to uh, plus three. But I'm not going to worry about that right now. Um... I'm trying to think. Yeah, that's more or less what I did. Um, I was debating on whether or not I want to go f take on 1-4 and 
Breathe King of Lance. Or if, uh, well, a friend of mine that I've been referring to throughout this playthrough has been wanting to do some PvP with me. And he also wants to respec, so I was going to help him do that by uh, soul sucking him using the. Uh, it's it's the, the there's a spell in this game called soul suck, which if you use it on a standard enemy in the game, it's just a one shot kill. It doesn't do anything to bosses, um, but if you use it on a player, it doesn't do any damage, but it level de levels them one level, and so while there's no respec in Demon Souls there's no proper respec that was always the way in which uh players were able to de-level you can use mephistopheles or uh alant to soul suck you but the problem with doing that is is it does damage and uh they're they don't consistently use that attack so they can take a while but you can you can do that but if you're say like my friend is level was level 120 and he's just through Mephistopheles he was able to de-level to 113 I think he said um but if you want to really respect your character it will take a long time doing that so basically what you end up doing is meeting up with a player or what I would do or what I would help a friend do I think I remember doing this for my first ever uh, build that I made I respect it because it was like a hyper mage and I wanted to like give myself some health because I didn't level up my health at all and when I wanted to do PvP I found myself like just getting killed in one hit every time um uh, yeah but you can't de-level your vitality so you are basically stuck with the amount of vitality you have, but all your other stats will go down, and it will go down with one by one level for every time you are hit with the soul suck spell. Excuse me. And um, he offered in trade some uh, faint stone that I need chunks, shards, and pures. I'm assuming. <laughs> Because he originally was using them for a f for a faith build, but he said he wants to respec and make a dex build now. So, in trade, I would do that. But I also wanted to do some PvP, and you can also you you can also D level if you put down your red sign, and you're and you get summoned into a player's world as a uh, black phantom. You, if you die in a fight with the host. Or just die, you will lose a level. So that's a way to uh, gradually do it as well. If you just like maybe intentionally throw fights, or just over time from losing, and you don't re-level up. So yeah, I'm debating on whether I want, rather not, I want to do that. But um. I don't think I don't think uh, we're, I'm going to do that tonight because uh, my friend said he's it's pretty late already. So yeah, I just wanted to make this up this uh, update video, and I may or may not uh, continue and go take on try to take on Alon tonight. I'm planning on beating him with the Iron Knuckles just for fun. But we'll see. I'm feeling a little bit tired. I had a, uh, like I said, uh, a nice time with my family for Christmas Eve. And I, uh, well, it was a long day. So, we'll see. But anyways, uh, hope you've been enjoying this playthrough. If you enjoyed this video, leave a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next one. Mombasa.